LaptopKey.com, your source for replacement keyboard keys. Notice, many times, laptop manufacturers produce keyboards that look the same on the outside, but have different retainer clips underneath the keys. To help you find the correct repair video for your keyboard, we've created a searchable database. Simply go to LaptopKey.com, enter your laptop brand and model number, Scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on View Videos. A list of all compatible videos will appear. Select the retainer clip model that matches your keyboard. That's all. You're now ready to repair your laptop keyboard. For this keyboard, we will be showing the removal and reattachment of the Enter key for wider set keys, the apostrophe and quotation mark for standard keys, and F11 for the top row keys. You can use either a spudger or flathead screwdriver or similar tool of your choice. To begin with the removal of the enter key, take your tool and insert at the bottom corner, drag up towards the top, repeat for the second side, and then take it and drag across the top. You should be able to pull the key right off. If your clip doesn't remove itself with the keycap, simply insert your tool between the two clips and apply gentle pressure to the sides. Repeat, and they will separate. To remove the metal arm, simply push to the side, unhook from the other. To reassemble your clips, on the bottom clip there will be a notch facing upward on the bottom clip, take the rounded edge with a matching opening for a notch on the bottom. Align these together. Then hook from the top down to the bottom with a firm press. To reattach the metal arm, simply take your key and the metal arm and towards the top of the key, there will be two slots here and here for the arm to hinge on. Simply fold this out and on the bottom set of holes on these metal tabs, insert the arms, lay the key down flat, firm press, and it's reattached. For the removal of a standard key, insert your tool, apply firm pressure to the corners until the key is removed. If the clip doesn't remove itself with the key, simply insert your tool between the top and bottom clip and apply pressure to the sides until they separate. To reassemble your clips, there will be two notches at the top on the bottom clip with an opening for a notch on the bottom and you will want the rounded edge with the smaller, wider squares at the top of the top clip. Simply insert the two together, hook from the top, firm press at the bottom, replace your rubber keycap if necessary, place the key back in the hole, firm press, and it's reattached. For removal of the top row keys, insert your tool, Apply pressure to the corners till the key detaches from the clips and set aside. If the clip doesn't remove itself with the keycap, simply insert your tool from the top between the two and apply pressure from the sides until they separate. To reassemble your clips, simply have an opening on the bottom of the bottom clip with a divot facing downward and divots on the top clip both facing downward. Assemble the clip and hook from the bottom you need to push the side in, firm press down, replace your rubber cup if necessary, replace the keycap with a firm press and it's functional.